before dating the enemy, the news headlines with Dennis Toohey. In the centre of Beijing, China is flying its national flag at half-mast to mourn the death of paramount leader Deng Xiaoping at the age of 92. A letter from the ruling Communist Party and the People's Liberation Army expressed profound grief at the death of a great Marxist and proletarian revolutionary, but he was also the man who ordered troops to shoot demonstrators in Tiananmen Square. President Clinton described him as the driving force behind remarkable changes which improved living standard in China. Foreign Secretary Malcolm Rifkind said Deng was a great statesman who helped resolve the future of Hong Kong. The government's position on joining the single European currency appears to have hardened. The Foreign Secretary Malcolm Rifkind said that on balance the cabinet were hostile to a single currency. The pro-Europe Chancellor Kenneth Clark said that must have been a slip of the tongue on Mr Rifkind's part. But later Mr Rifkind said it wasn't and Mr Clark didn't mention the subject at a meeting with Conservative backbenchers. Football in the Premiership, Newcastle's match was rained off as Liverpool beat Leeds 4-0. The league leaders, Manchester United, beat Arsenal 2-0 at Highbury. Both United's goals came in the first half, the second from Ole Solskjaer. That's all for now. I'll be back with more news later.